Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Kindly subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems. Let's solve this problem. In this problem it is said that the cards A, B, C and B, D can each support a maximum load of 100 pounds, right? So they cannot exceed a load of 100 pounds. And we are required that determine the maximum weight of the crate and the angle theta of our equilibrium, right? So we have to find the weight of this crate and this theta, right? So for this, if we assume that this, the tension in BD is maximum, right? So it has reached the maximum load capacity, right? So let's say, let's assume that TBD is at maximum load, which is 100 pounds, right? And then as we can see that this ABCD, this ABC, this rope is continuous, right? So this means that the, the, the tension in this AB and this BC, both of these cables will be equal to the weight of this cable, right? Uh, to the weight of this uh, crate, right? So we can say that uh, this tension in AB will be equal to the weight. So if I draw it here, right? So this will be TAB and this will be equal to the weight of this crate, right? And similarly, the tension in this BC cable will also be equal to W, right? So we can say that this is T, B, C and this is also equal to W, right? And since we have assumed that this B, D rope is supporting the maximum load, right? So it is having the maximum load, which is 100 pounds, right? So this is 100 pounds, right? So we are required to find this weight and this theta in order to have this system as an equilibrium, right? So now if we draw the free body diagram, so we have to isolate these uh, forces, right? So if we neglect uh, the size of this pulley, so then these three forces will be concurrent, right? So they will be, the line of action of these three forces will meet at a point, right? So these forces will be concurrent forces, right? So now let's say that this is our positive x, let's say this is my positive x and this is my positive y direction, right? So then if we can say that this TBC, this TBC which is equal to W, right? And this TAB, which is vertical, we can place it here, right? So if these three forces are concurrent, right? And then this 100 pound force will be acting here, right? It will be making some angle, right? So now we can say that this is equal to W, this is also equal to W and this is 100 pounds, right? So this is our free body diagram and and this, the weight, this angle is given, right? This angle of this weight is given, right? And this angle is given in the form of this triangle. If we draw that triangle, right? So we can find this theta, right? So this theta and this theta, they are given, right? So since this system is in equilibrium, then they must follow these two conditions, right? So the summation of forces along x will be equal to zero and the summation of forces along y will be equal to zero if the system is in equilibrium, right? So for that, we have to resolve these forces, right? So this 100 pound force is making uh, this theta, right? So let's say that this angle is then alpha, right? And this alpha is given in terms of this triangle. This is 12, this is five, and the hypotenuse is 13, this is given, right? So now if we resolve these uh, forces, right? So then, uh, this 100 pound force will have one component in this direction. This one will be the cos component. We can say that this will be 100 cos of theta. Then it will have one another component which will be acting upward in the positive y direction. So this one will be 100 sine of theta. And similarly, if we resolve this weight into its components, right? So it will have one component in this direction, right? And this one will be, if this is phi, so then this will be W sine, uh, if this angle is alpha, right? If this angle is made with this vertical, so then this will be the sine component, right? So this will be sine of alpha, right? And similarly, it will have one another component and that component will be acting vertically downward, right? 
so we can say that this is w cos of alpha right if this is alpha so then this is also uh, alpha angle right and this is that weight w so now if we apply the summation of forces along uh, x equals to 0 so then we can see that we have this w sine of alpha in the positive x direction so we will write w sine of alpha then as we can see that this cos component is acting in the negative x direction so we will write minus 100 cos of theta so this will be equal to 0 right so now uh, we can say that w and from this triangle we can find sine of alpha right so sine of alpha so it will be perpendicular divided by hypotenuse right so this is 5 divided by 13 so we can say that this is 5 divided by 13 and this is minus 100 cos of theta equal to 0 right so we can say that 5 w divided by 13 is equal to 100 cos of theta or we can say that w is equal to 13 divided by 5 into 100 cos of theta or we can say that w is 1300 cos of theta divided by 5 let's say this is equation 1 right and now if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 so then as we can see that this sine component this 100 sine of theta is acting in the positive y direction so we will write 100 sine of theta and similarly this cause uh, w cos alpha is acting in the negative uh, y direction so we will write minus w cos of alpha and from this triangle we can find cos of alpha as well so so it is base divided by hypotenuse so this is 12 divided by 13 so here we can write that this is w 12 divided by 13 and then we have this w which is acting in the negative y direction so we will write minus w and this will be equal to 0 so now we can simplify this if we take w or minus w common from this so then this will be 12 divided by 13 plus 1 and this will be equal to minus 100 sine of theta and minus will be cancelled out right so this will be 25 divided by 13 into w equals to 100 sine of theta and we can write that this is w equals to 13 into 100 so this will be 1300 sine of theta divided by 25 and let's say this is equation 2 right so now uh, we can equate both of these equations since this term is also equal to w and that term is also equal to w so we can say that uh, 1300 sine of theta divided by 25 equals to this 1300 cos of theta since both of these are equal to w right so this 1300 cos of theta divided by 5 this will be cancelled out and if we cross multiply right so then this will be sine theta divided by cos theta and if i multiply this 25 on the other side so then that will be 25 divided by 5 right so this means that this sign by cos is 10 theta so we can write that 10 theta equals to 25 divided by 5 so this is 5 right so we can find theta by taking the 10 inverse right so 10 inverse 5 so from this we get theta equals to 78.69 degrees this theta was required so this theta is 78.69 degrees and then uh, we need to find that w so we can use either of these equation right so we can either use equation one or we can use equation two so if i use equation one so then w will be equal to 1300 cos of that angle 78.69 divided by 5 so from this we get uh, w weight of the crate equals to 50.99 so this means that this is approximately uh 61 pounds and this is less than 100 pounds right so this means that the the maximum load that this abc cable can support is 61 pounds the weight right this is the 
maximum weight of the crate and this weight is not exceeding that maximum li limit which is 100 pound right so this is the solution of this particular problem